Asko. And this is Amy. And we're going to play a game where we create a dish inspired by two food words that we pull out of these bowls at random. The winner will be the person who scores the most points on creativity or flair, taste obviously, and visual spectacularness. We'll have 20 minutes to write the recipe, 20 minutes to buy the ingredients, and a budget of 20 pounds. Let's go! So, I'll pick first. First word, here goes. What are we going to be making? That one. It's a... Marmite! Ew. Good job, we love it. How do you feel about that? Yeah, okay. Just hoping the other ingredient is something savoury. What you got? So I'm actually really excited about this because I think that Marmite brownies will be really good. It's salty, it's umami, so it'll add like this depth of flavour and cut through all of the sweetness of the sugar. So I think this is a match made in heaven. I'm gonna do a peanut butter sour cherry Marmite brownie. Is that a brownie? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a wedge of cheese. I hope your cooking skills are better than your drawing stuff. So this is my brownie base. I'm gonna make a sort of Marmite peanut butter glaze, which I'll like drag through the top, just to give it like some marbling. And I'm also gonna add these little pops of sour cherry. And of course, it's gonna have chunks of <laughs> chocolate. It's a masterpiece. I'm gonna use my classic brownie recipe. What you got? It's gonna be a stack. Mine's gonna be a classic take on a uh, fudge and banana brownie Ooh. with Marmite. It's gonna be uh, like an oozy fudge sauce that's just gonna run down this stack. There is gonna be chocolate chips, because what are brownies without chocolate chips? Nothing. There's also gonna be lumps of- Lumps. Yeah, that doesn't sound so good, does it? <laughs> Chunks of banana. Chunks. What's it called? Fudgy banana. No. <laughs> Fudgy Marmite banana brownies. So we've got a budget of £20 along with anything else that we've got in the house. Let's go to the shop. Here we go. Heading out. Covid style. Guess who forgot their shopping list? Got the list this time. Although I did just lock the door without my keys. So I'm really hoping that Amy has her keys with her too. I need some Marmites and peanut butter. What do I need? Bananas and they're on offer. Okay, next thing I need is some vegan butter. Oh, sneaky. What's that? Sneaking around. Here's the best stuff. So there's no sour cherries, but I can get some dried cranberries. So I'm gonna go with these. Time for the most important ingredient, Marmite. If I can find it. Can you tell me where the Marmite is? You can't find it yourself. You're the competition. Creamy oat milk. Oat cream. Finally, finally, some dark chocolate. So did you bring a set of keys? You're tricking me. I actually am not. I left my keys when I left the door. You did it. I did, but... No, you did it. How, uh, how did you do on pricing then? So my total was £26. Ooh. How did you do? £16.19. Oh my god, so my over budget matches your under budget. So together... That makes it even. We did all right. Okay. So now just to face the issue of being locked out. Um, luckily, we have someone I have a spare key. key. We got it! She hates me. Home sweet home, baby. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got all our ingredients, now we just need to get ready to cook. Yep. Uh, wrong hat. Let's go. Better? Just one caveat, we don't actually have any brownie dishes because somebody broke the square one. You're blaming me for that. And that somebody was me, so. How are you feeling? I'm feeling confident. We've got an hour on the clock, so let's go. Bring it on. The first thing I'm gonna do is make my flax egg. This is a good tip if you don't eat eggs. You can use flax seeds, which have been ground down, and you just mix it with water and it turns into like a eggy, galoopy, frog spawny type paste, which is gross on its own, but in cakes, it's amazing at binding. Now, usually I'd use cold water, but today I'm gonna use hot water so that my Marmite sort of like dissolves. First thing I'm gonna do is just use this piece of butter like a paintbrush. I don't know how much Marmite to use. I'm gonna go with a teaspoon. Next, I'm using this, um, what did you say it was called? Silicon husk? I wonder how far you could stretch Marmite. Oh, wow. Pasco, please, when you've finished with something, can you take it out of the frame? Because there's too much going on here. Look. I feel like I'm a very tidy chef. So as soon as you use something, you wash it up and you put it away. So this is giving me... <laughs> Let go a bit. So I'm using a combo of white sugar and light brown sugar because brown sugar has more molasses in, which gives the bake a deeper, more toffee-like flavor. Yours looks like, why is it so dark? How much Marmite did you put in there? The right amount. Wow, look at this silicon husk. This is my flax eggs. It's gotten a bit thicker. I'm not sure whether the hot water made it not so stable. Oh yeah, it's not looking very good. <laughs> you just got yourself. Mine looks a lot more like brownie than yours. I have not put the flour in yet, hon. Yours is gonna be not like mine. A, yours is gonna be like a brick. This is looking good. Is it? Is it not? Is it looking too solid? I don't know. I'm just... Adding plain flour. Oh, you're sieving it. And cocoa powder. And you're sieving the cocoa powder as well. I don't want any lumps. And baking powder. Oh my word. I'm just gonna chop some chocolate. I mean, that is the best thing about brownies, isn't it? When you get like a big lump of chocolate. Yeah, no, I agree. A banana. Have you tried your mixture? No. It's not that marmite. It's not that marmite. -y. No. It needs more. I'm gonna really go for it. It's about a tablespoon. It's gonna be quite difficult to stir through evenly. It's really thick mixture, which is good. Now you say it's supposed to be this thick. It's oh, the peanut butter. Isn't it funny how? When you lose something, it's always in the last place you look. Or the first place you expect. But it's always in the last place you look. <laughs> I'm gonna swirl peanut butter and Marmite through it. She's so good at this. So now these are ready to bake. Stick them in. Let's take our brownies out. Ooh. Wow, look at that marbleness. You can see here where the marmite's like sat on top of your banana. Yeah, yeah. the banana looks great. It does actually. I wasn't what do you mean actually? Oh, I had no doubts. Chocolate, chocolate everywhere. Chocolate, chocolate in, in my, my hair. hair. Chocolate, chocolate, I don't care. Chocolate, chocolate, underwear. Chocolate, 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 chocolate everywhere. That looks amazing. I mean, it looks terrible. Oh, it's quite fudgy. I'm sticking by my idea of doing a stack. I just thought, I didn't know it'd be as gloopy. I made a delicious fudge sauce. <laughs> Sorry, editor. All right, so Pasco's gonna try my brownie first and he's gonna score it out of 10. 
for creativity, taste and aesthetics. Aesthetics. It looks like a pretty standard brownie. Standard brownie. So it's got the marbling, it's got the layers of chocolate running through it, it's got the cranberries, it's got peanut butter, marmite swirl. What more do you want from a brownie? Sparkles and unicorns. Ten points! <laughs> Stop putting gold on it. I think I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 for aesthetics. Okay, I mean, I can live with that. Creativity-wise, I don't see anything that unusual. Cranberries, I've heard of them in a brownie before. Have you? Peanut butter, seen that in brownies. Marmite. That was just something we had to include. So creative. For creativity, I'm going to give you a six, because... That's so disappointing. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> Taste them. So it's a little bit crumbly. It's not as like moist as I was sort of hoping for. And it's, it's a little bit cakey, to be honest, more than brownie. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have baked it in a cake tin. Can you taste the Marmite? Yeah, it does come through. It actually complements the chocolate really well. I'm going to give you an eight for taste. So that gives me 20 and a half out of 30. Not bad. Not great. Let's judge you now. You mean my brownie? Oh yeah, I mean your brownie. <laughs> I have to be honest, it looked better <laughs> about 20 minutes ago when it was actually stacked and I was pouring, you know, the sauce over. So I kind of want you to judge that rather than now. It looks like the poo emoji. <laughs> Earlier on, 20 minutes ago, this was a three. Now it's a one. You better hope this tastes good, honey. Creativity, though. I'm gonna give you that. I've never seen... No, I have seen brownies stacked on top of each other. I'm just trying to think of any redeeming features that this has. The sauce. For creativity, I'm gonna give this a five. All right, let's taste it. Mmm, banana. Mmm, that's delicious. That tastes so good. It's, what's the crunchiness? <laughs> I asked the nuts I put in now. The banana comes through, which is really nice. And the chocolate fudge sauce is really good. So I'm going to give that a nine out of 10. Whoa. Wow. Thanks. I won. Yeah, you won. Of course you won. <laughs> well done. I would like to thank Marmite and myself. And that's about it. So if you've learned anything today, it's that chocolate and Marmite, although it's an unlikely pair, it actually works. And it turns out I can cook a bit. Yeah, you can. I think you did a great job there, Pasco. Thanks. I'll work on my presentation. Keep the day job. And if you've liked this video, like, comment and subscribe. Bye.